Hi everyone, today I want to show you how to make a Halloween graphic within Photoshop. This is a great graphic for an advertisement or a banner or a website background even. Um, and it's pretty easy to make. All the images that you see within here are pretty much made using brushes that I found at DeviantArt.com. And they're all free brushes to download, so check out DeviantArt.com. I'm going to go ahead and get started by opening a new document. And for the size, I'm going to set this a little bit smaller, 1000 pixels by 600. Okay. Um, now for our background layer, we'll go ahead and we'll unlock it by dragging the lock down to the trash and giving it a gradient overlay. And for our gradient overlay, we can just choose a two color and I'm going to change this red to maybe a darker red. That looks good. And then this green I'm going to change to a pumpkin orange. I think I have the number saved here. EE7C16. Okay, so there's our background. Next thing is we're going to use our pen tool and make the landscape. And for this, all we'll do is click, click, and click, and then close up the path. Go inside, right click, fill path, and we'll fill it with black. And if you're happy with that path, we'll go up to our paths palette and delete delete this this path we don't need it anymore okay let's make a new layer go to our brushes and you'll need your Halloween brushes loaded to find these brushes I just did a search for Halloween Photoshop brushes within DeviantArt and I'm going to choose a haunted house and there's one right here and there's also one right here. And I think I'll use this one. Maybe I'll make it a little bit bigger. Yeah, a little larger. That looks pretty good. And I want to open up this panel and change the angle just a little bit. little bit more maybe at about five degrees so it sits there I'll make it a little smaller there we go so that looks pretty good um, now I want to go back to my brushes and I want to put a moon in there and same thing, I just searched moons. I'm going to choose this number, 1500. Oopsie. Now I'll go ahead and close that out for the moment. And I need to make this a lot smaller. And I'll change the color to a nice tan. That looks good. And I'm going to make a new layer right below the house so I can put my moon right there. So that looks pretty cool. And let's go back to our brushes and let's put in some bats. We get all these bats right here. Um, but one quick thing, if you didn't notice, I want to erase this moon that's already in here. So I'm going to go to my eraser and you can see that I had a scary monster guy as my last eraser. Not sure why, but I guess I just did. Okay, back to our bats. By hitting the B key, I got back to my brushes. And with these brushes as large as they are, these bats as large as they are, it might look like they're flying towards us, which will look good. But I want to put them on this layer, and I want to make them black. So I'm going to go back to my black color by pressing the D key. And that looks pretty good. And if I open up this palette, I think I'll flip them and I'll make them smaller. 
and I'll have some going this way as well too. So that looks good. Okay, now I'm going to put some dead trees in here. And trees you can find almost anywhere too. Um, I think I got these off DeviantArt as well. So this is a nice tree. Nice dead looking tree. I think I'll put him, put it right, right there. That'll look fine. And again, to make it look a little different, I could flip it on its x-axis, but I think I'll just make a different tree back here. And I want to make this one smaller. We put it right there. That looks nice. Okay. Um, now on that same layer, let's make a new layer above it. And for our color, or for our brush, I'm going to choose just a round hard brush. And for the color, I want to choose kind of a bright yellow. Then I want to zoom in pretty close. So I'm going to change the, the color of the windows. I'm going to make them yellow inside. like a window up there. Okay. Zoom back out. And maybe lower the opacity so we can get kind of a dual tone. The background gradient will be coming through those windows a little bit this way. That looks good. Okay. Um we're almost done. I think I'm going to put one one more guy in this one or two more people in this image. And I really like where is he at? I really like this guy. But he needs to be shrunk down. And he needs to be black. And I'm going to put him on another layer. And it's probably a good idea to name your layers in case if you want to change anything. I need to tilt him a little bit. Maybe that should be pretty good. I'll make it look like he's leaning on the tree there. That kind of looks good. Zoom back out to see the whole image. Okay, you can put in more tombstones. You could put in maybe this guy in a window here. Or you could flip him and put him up there and make him a little smaller. Like there's somebody up there. Um, there's witches that you could get. Maybe flying over the the moon. I'm going to leave the witch off for today. But I also searched for more tombstones. And you could put more tombstones in here. Make it smaller. I'm going to press this a few times. Click on it a few times and make it dark. So I think that looks pretty good. You could put in more trees and bushes if you want. Or you can leave this area kind of blank for some uh, text. And you can write Happy Halloween down here. In fact, I think I'll do that last here. So hitting my T. For a type tool, I'm going to type in Happy Halloween. But I think a good color might be that dark red. Happy Halloween. Let me make it a little smaller. Maybe make it a different color too. Not really feeling the red. More orangey. There we go. And then you could do effects to that as well. 
So there you go. You just made a happy Halloween graphic within Photoshop in less than 10 minutes. The longest part is downloading the brushes and loading those brushes up in there. Uh, the name of this font is Zombie Holocaust, and I got that off of fontspace.com, I think. And again, that's a free font. Thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something and you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up and comment and subscribe. Thanks, bye.